Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. It's a podcast bonus. Here's my song. Yeah. He plays for Melbourne. Barely a rock man. We're talking for you. <laughs> With Max. Go. Looking strong, Maxie, as usual. Thank you. Uh, we need to change that opener. What do you mean? Mainly a ruckman. Luke Jackson's taken my spot now. Really? We, How we, good we, was he? We've got a star young ruck who's... So rewrite it. What would you put here? You go, man... Mainly man. a mediocre forward. Okay. Yep. You, yes. are, are you saying... We can do that. <laughs> are, you not, are you not even the best ruckman at Melbourne at the moment? Not anymore. No. How, do, how can you say that? It's just happened. It's just happened. He played... It was... Yeah, I'm not, did you, anyone watch it? The Melbourne Gold Coast 8-10 bit, yeah. game? Uh, yeah. It's a bit off Broadway. We, we, we've got a good young run. Great sign, a great legacy of leadership, though, Max. When you can hand the baton over. Oh, I'm not saying please, you're uh, not saying you got one foot in the grave. Is this your sporting life? career? But the fact that you can bring a player up underneath you to play your role is a magnificent sign of leadership. Mm. I think. Is this your last year? <laughs> well, I'm at the start of a big contract, actually, four years. Um, who, did, <laughs> who did you hand it over to? Oh yeah, no. well done, Melbourne. Um, who did I hand it over to? Jordan Lyle. Jordan Lyle, yeah. Now, now he's playing for now he's playing for Baldwin. <laughs> yeah, so footy league. Good fellow, Jordy. Good morning, Jordy. You just Jordy. dropped that you're at the beginning of a long contract, yep. four years. Mm. How does how does that feel? Do you do you like a looking down the barrel of a long and secure four year, or would you rather year on year keep it fresh? Uh, good question. Um, Thank you, Matt. Yeah, a lot of gambling. Uh, I'm not I'm not going anywhere. So the security doesn't really bother me. Like, I could have kept doing one or two years and I still would have been a Melbourne player. But um, to have security when I've been injured a lot does help. Yeah. Have you... Has it's got to open a few more wine bars. Correct. True, one it? more coming. You, you knew that, didn't you? Yeah, um, what? In the, at the old Rococo? Is yeah, it? Uh, right. right near Rococo. Right. Up, it's the old garage. Oh, yes. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. I walk past there all the time on the corner there. Correct. Sounds Fabulous. Like, sounds like a front. <laughs> That's going to be cool, <laughs> Maxie. Yeah. When is that opening? May. And yeah. you use that to launder money. Yes, that one. <laughs> you got to clean it. you got to clean it. Hey, has it in your... Uh, you're 29? Yeah, uh, 30. So you're 30. So you've been playing, what, 10 years? Uh, 12, yep. Any other... During that time, does any other club come for you and get close? Uh, not really. I sign... I always sign at the start of the year. Um, I don't really like playing the year with a, with a contract, so I normally sign at the start, so there's not enough time for clubs to come in. Mm. Not, that, uh, not that I'm saying that they would have come. Sounds like it. Sounds like that's what, exactly what you were saying. That <laughs> yeah. if you had signed it at a different part of the year, you would have been in a high demand. I could be a card. Can I ask Mate, you? No about, room. No room for you. <laughs> can I ask you about Christian Petrarca? You can. Is there any danger that an opposition player or opposition <laughs> players will get any within a five or ten metre exclusion zone that he seems to have had in the last six months of football? He's um he's got off the leash. He's about eighty disposals in two weeks, which is my career tally. Um, <laughs> it's a, plus the grand final. Plus yeah, the grand final. Yeah, Thirty nine. Oh my god. Yeah, his last six games are incredible. If you have a look at the numbers, um, it helps having Clayton Oliver and Jack Viney. Yeah, um, true. So you can't really just pinpoint on one person because the other one will get off the, the leash at some point. Um, but I'm sure Bombers will be looking into him. He'd have a bit of a head wobble at the moment, wouldn't he, Track? Well, it was already pretty high after Norm Smith. Um, <laughs> yeah, so the uh, beating Gold Coast around two in the in the death slot, the 8-10 Saturday night game, um, I'm not sure too many people were watching. At the start of the game, Petraka tells his opponent that he's got COVID and then the <laughs> opponent stays 1.5 metres away from him. That's what he seems to do for the last for the yes. last three games. Works well. Are you, um, <laughs> is the eight set? <laughs> Where are Carlton sitting? Oh, we're in the eight, but oh, I'm just asking. Hey, it's not about Carlton. I'm doing it. It's more a comment on the ridiculous that, 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 nature of the pundits over it. That in your industry, Brownie, who uh, there's a lot of discussion going on about teams and whether, like, according to from who name names. I, I don't know the names of them. We'll name them. Just, just you put know. a name out there: David King, Jason Dunstall, Dermot Brereton. Yes, Fire all, of them, all of them. They, they've got Port Adelaide. They've, you know, if you start off zero and two, that's it. Season's over. Well, start playing the kids. I, I think GWS may uh, come six or seventh last year, and that was zero and three. Um, so, and I wouldn't write doggies and Port off. Uh, I know they're both zero and two, but doggies have had Melbourne and Carlton, which is a pretty hot start. So, no, the answer is uh, the eight is not set. Maxi, next, I want to uh, hear your take on the bunny buddy madness. It was insane. Also, I hope you're ready because coming up is Brody's football question. It's back. Oh yeah. Oh, it's, it's back. back. Wow. <laughs>
Do you want to see what this looks like? Well, get the visuals on Instagram. Follow Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. Just quickly, uh, big night Saturday night on the drink with Goody Wear. Uh, no, no, we passed up on that. Six day break. Um, uh, in footy world, six day break means you've got to be on your best behaviour. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know that's funny? That right? You've yeah, told that, me that before. Yeah, except the other night when Buddy Franklin kicked the goal, kicked his thousandth career goal. Magic. Uh, John Longmire was in the rooms, uh, in the in the players' room post game, and uh, said to the boys, "Boys, six day break. We can't have a drink tonight." And then all the boys, ah! And then they wheeled the trolley in full of beer. And the boys all sat around and had a few beers. So he tricked them. He tricked them. Bit of hijinks there from the horse. Uh, so they sat back and had a few beers to celebrate Buddy's thousands. Had Maxie, after, La- after Lance, you're probably the biggest name in, in a footy. Did you, did you see the historic moment when Buddy Franklin kicked his thousandth? I did tune in once he kicked his third, so 999. Um, and that was a pretty exciting 20 minutes. If he had to kick that goal where he was stepping everyone and oh, he ended up being an assist, that would have been all time. Oh. Um, but, yeah, it's crazy vision. I've watched every, uh, I reckon, every single phone that was out there filming. I've watched all those clips. <laughs> yeah. um, it's pretty cool vision. What did you we, think of Swanee? I was looking at, about Alex Wheeler, the guy who caught the ball. Mm. We, were, we were all discussing that he feels as though he's handed it back a little bit lightly. Do you know what I mean? He's got, was he got a membership mm. and a jumper or something? I mean, he's done the right thing. It's not his ball. Yeah, but you hold on a bit. I know, I know. Don't you reckon? Mm. Hold on to it, see what you can get. Have you watched the video of him marking? <laughs> good, good, good grab. The family in front of him are not pleased at all. <laughs> he squashed their two kids, I think, taking a chess mark. <laughs> well, it cost worth- them about 200 grand. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable it's worth that much. Mm. They value it that much. But uh, and he got in, instead of 200000 he got a chance to meet Buddy. Mate. And a Swans membership, which would be going for about 350 Seems bucks. unders. Well, a, a, chance to meet, a chance to meet Buddy these days is probably worth... That amount, he's a bit of a recluse. It's he's hard to, True, it's hard to he's cash. Hard, yeah. oh. We've tried to get him on. Um, I'd want a bag full of cash and guns, <laughs> <laughs> mate. I'd want to be sitting beside John Longmire and in the box, the op- in the box, uh, sitting beside John Longmire yeah. for a game and the opportunity to make at least five moves. Yeah, I'm with you. Your your idea is great, but I'll take the bag of cash and guns. <laughs> um, now we haven't discussed. It's like uh, you know, mum and dad have had you, and then. Now we've got a second baby. Nathan Broad has has come on board. Yeah, and um, I just wanted to know if you're across our our other family member Brody meeting him and using the greeting hand meat. Uh, as in yeah. his nickname was hand hand meat. That is how Brody chose to start the He's conversation. A bit nervous, wasn't I think he? we've got yeah. the audio. Hello, Nathan. Hey, mate. Nice yeah. to meet you, mate. How you going? Good. 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 Hand me. Bit nervous. Hand me. So this is how you use it in conversation. Okay. Oh, hello. Hand me. Yeah, hand me. Hand me. Hand me. Hello, Nathan. Hand me. Oh, yeah. Nice actually, it does make sense. Yeah. You're meeting with your hands. It is. Yeah. Hand me. Yeah. Hand me. What do you think? What do you think? Nathan Broad, by the way, is uh, every second week he'll be joining us. What are your thoughts on him? I like that. I, how, how was his debut? Good, fabulous, strong. Good, yeah. yeah, he strong. wasn't rattled by the introduction there from Brad. <laughs> is he? And is he mate. three-time Premiership player? Absolutely, yeah. three-time. Yeah. Three. He's had a pretty good uh, strike rate. He only played eighty-five games. So, uh, you know, we, we go for the big guns. We learn our lesson after having Bernie Vince and uh, <laughs> he end up in the reserves. Uh, so we prefer to have senior players on this station. Um, no, I'm not an elitist, Swanee. No. But but you, be I, very I, careful with what you say I about think, Bernie Vince because I will go you. I think the listener would prefer to listen to a current AFL player, not a reserves player. That well, plays we haven't AFL. spoken to every listener about that, <laughs> have we? I couldn't we? agree more, by the way. You, you, you have some revisionist history when it comes to Byrne. Max will back me up. But Byrne, when we first had him on, he was in the seniors. I think he just wanted best and fairest. Mm. But the, his last appearance on this show... He was he was playing in the Golden Valley. So like what? he wasn't even on the list anymore. So what? I don't care. Bro, I, I, good I see on, the on person. Him. I see the person, not the title. I only see the bro. Well, Nathan Broad, nice. He wears his medallions in every week. Too. <laughs> he, he wears all three in. So, yep. hey, just before we get to Brody's question of the week, yeah. just just because of, you know some hard hitters, some serious. You know, yep. what, what, what did you make of the West Coast Eagles um, situation where they've had to uh, um, they've had to make fourteen changes to their team due to COVID? Is there, are you prepared for that? What's the What's Melbourne's contingency plan for this, Max? I I do feel like a lot of teams are going to get in this situation at some point. Carlton almost got there, um, managed to save it. Only two players. Uh, so I'm, I actually look for... 
as much as this sounds stupid, I look forward to the day where we can welcome like 10 Casey guys in. I reckon it'll be a fun mm. game. Luke, Luke Shuey probably enjoyed himself out there trying to lead these guys. Um, and I didn't watch a game, but it, they put up a pretty strong... It's hilarious. We, on the hey. Friday afternoon at the Eagles training session, they had a meet and greet mm. with the players. <laughs> you know about this? <laughs> you know about this? <laughs> they no, all COVID went yeah, through yeah, the they club. Had to, they had to introduce... Adam Simpson had to introduce <laughs> the players. They had finger food. <laughs> <laughs> finger food. <laughs> Name tags. Name tags. It's unbelievable. This may happen at Melbourne. This Mel- is or, great. Could, could this possibly happen at Melbourne or is it an inevitable that it will happen? It could. I'm no, I'm no COVID expert, but it looks like the Perth guys are getting their first sort of batch of COVID coming yeah. through. Oh, yeah, yeah, would most true. of your guys had COVID? There's about half. Yeah, yeah okay. So I you love how Dino's safer. very mad. We will get to Brody's question, but Dino's very mad at North Melbourne celebrating like they've won the grand final. Yeah, they're acting pretty heroic. Over the, over the we, West Coast. Hey, we Steelers. only lost by 14 points. They only lost by 14 points, and they had... 14 players that had never yeah. bloody yeah. been to Marvel. Some of yeah. them didn't know the rules. <laughs> <laughs> when we Some were... of them just were ticket holders. <laughs> yeah. and they when, just said, quickly get on. When we were towards the bottom and we'd lost by 20, 30 points, we'd sing the song. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we ready? Brody's we question I'm of the excited. week. Brody's serious analytical footy question of the week. Max, 14 Ruckman had more hitouts than you this weekend. Have you given up since winning a premiership? <laughs> Brody would be upset at my first line on the show when I said I'm not a Ruckman anymore. I'm a mediocre forward now. Brody, so in terms of mediocre forwards, I probably had the most hitouts. Whoa! Whoa! Brody. Mate, you won't get him, Brody. Wait, Brody thing. has a rebuttal. Let him. Let him. Good on, Ethan. Hand meat. Nice yeah. to meet you. Hand meat, Maxie. Have meet, a Brody. great week. Love you, Maxie. Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. Ripper Show will be back tomorrow. Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. Oh, unless it's a weekend. Over 100.